I just want to thank you again for uh, taking the time today to be here. Uh, and you know, on that on that note, uh, I'm gonna demo for you the MVP. Uh, what a lot of the community's been asking for. People want to see what is what is Morpheus Networks MVP like. And I'm excited to show it to you, Roger. I'm excited to show it to everybody. Uh, so on that note, let's let's move forward. Let's let's get on to this uh, this MVP and show you exactly what we've been working on. So how's your day going? First of all, to start off, I know it's just the morning for you, I suppose. Yeah, I yeah, know it's going well. All right. Very good start. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll share my screen and uh, I'll I'll go through uh, you know the the platform right from logging in, uh, you know exactly how uh, you know users will be able to uh, sort of you know access the platform. Uh, you know, and get into the whole uh, automation uh, system uh, and leverage all those different technologies as well. So, so here's the login screen, uh, nice, clean, and easy. Uh, you know, obviously, I just put in my my username here and my password, of course, uh, which is very secure. Automatically, you see this interface; it's looking wonderful. You know, you can see your contracts in the background, but it's a little bit of a preview uh, that we're giving people when they first log into the platform. Uh, it just talks about a little bit of a, a breakdown of what the platform's about, uh, who've consulted with to put this platform together. Uh, just a very, very brief info for people who've never used the platform before. Uh, it goes into it as well with uh, you know the different platform features, uh, smart contracts. Uh, obviously, the payment flows when it comes to Swift-based, uh, you know, fiat payment, uh, as well as the crypto-based payments as well. Uh, you know, the different features, the layering technology lets you use different blockchains and non-blockchain technologies within your smart contract. Document storage, automation features, all built in. So let's take a quick look at the dashboard interface here. Uh, yeah, yeah superb. As you can see, you can see all your their contract progress, the active contracts, um, you know, the, the payments they have out there as well. Um, very easy to display. Obviously, the um, you know the wallets and payment history, uh, the modules. Uh, we really try to make it an intuitive, easy to use sort of platform. Um, as you can see here, uh, you know there's a whole messaging system as well. So your whole team uh, is part of the system as well. So uh, as much as you're you know you're automating your system, you still want to communicate with everyone you're working with. So I, I put in my team, obviously myself, uh, Noam, Charlie, yourself. Uh, Simon and Jonathan were all part of the team as well. So uh, just easy to communicate through the platform as well. Um, now with the, the dashboard, we also show the, uh, you know, all the different statistics of your ongoing contracts, uh, as well as the recent smart contract okay. objectives that have been completed. So you, you see here, you got your DHL modules, uh, you have your Inc, which is actually a new partnership we have when it comes to payment processing, some sub, which is a, a KYC module, you know, various shipping modules as well. So as modules are completed, they'll be updated right in your dashboard. So you can kind of see when things are triggered. And in general, it's just a really easy dashboard to read. So let's take a look at our contracts here. So these are the contracts we have already set up in the platform. Uh, this is for display purposes, obviously. Um, super easy to navigate around. If you're looking for something that has to do with a port, right away all the ports come up through the search feature. You put any sort of search in, Right away, it comes in whether it's the point of load, loading, a discharge. Super easy to navigate around. Uh, this is the real magic: is when we're creating a contract, creating one of these global supply chain smart contracts. Uh, simple as putting in what what your reference invoice number is to start out the contract. Um, pick the date as well, obviously. Nice and easy. And here's the available modules. So on your left-hand side, left-hand column, those are the active modules in your smart contract. We haven't activated any modules yet within the smart contract, but you have all these available modules which are installed and ready to use in this platform. Uh, so basically every platform is individualized for the company that's using them. So if you wouldn't use, let's say, Salesforce CRM or you wouldn't use uh, FedEx shipping, then you don't necessarily have to install them on your platform. Uh, this uh, uh, you know, uh, MVP obviously has a bunch of modules uh, that we want to display here, uh, whether it be an RFID scan, a storage module. So let's take a look at the actual modules in the system over here. So as you can see, the display is, is super easy to read. It's displayed right in front of you. We actually break it up by shipping modules, payment modules, specifically what they are. Um, this is a list of all the modules. So you have your DHL, FedEx, UPS, mm -hmm. SAP, ERP. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Thank you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Very impressive. 
you know, in, in activating these modules so you can use them, leverage them in your smart contracts is just a click away, literally. So let's take a look at DHL, for example, one of our favorites. Let's activate that module there. So we've, a we've activated DHL. So that one click actually gives us the ability to leverage DHL's, uh, you know, shipping technology, which is amazing and easy to use through our platform relating to the exact contract that you're setting up. So let's go back to, uh, to create a contract and actually, uh, you know, leverage that DHL specific uh, shipping uh, module that we've now added. Uh, so let's put another invoice number here. Uh, date, of course. All right, we have our DHL module right there. Mm. To actually mm -hmm. activate it, you just oh, drag, wow. you just drag <laughs> it. Okay, that's been cool. Yeah, you drop in your, your ERP reading, that's your Microsoft Dynamics, let's say an inventory level that you want for a, you know, a trigger within your smart contract, but our, our Morpheus payment scheduler as well. Um, now let's, let's configure a, a DHL shipment. Simple as that, you know, the, you know, the products that you're sending around uh, during the time are you know, consistent. You can, you can set this up and template it so this shipment just happens over and over whenever you need it based on inventory readings, sets up the shipment for you, wherever you need to go, wherever you need to come from, DHL will show up at, you know, at those destinations and you know, at those uh, shipping points as well. Uh, you put in your package dimensions, uh, just while you're, you're pricing and all that's predetermined as well. Um, very easy to use, obviously, as simple as setting up one shipment, but this is actually gonna leverage it so an automated shipment, you know, basically for as long as you have your smart contract running. Uh, so we select whichever features we want for the actual delivery. And that's it. You have you have it saved, and within your smart contract, it is saved. Uh, let's take a look at like a, a payment schedule, for example. Uh, you know, we can set our terms, set our payment conditions, uh, and, and a really cool feature that we have is actually a, you know built into the system. Uh, is depending on which cu uh, currency or cryptocurrency you want to send across, uh, you put in your wallet address, uh, basically where the money's coming from and where it's going. Uh, you know, the crypto or, or the actual fiat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so here, let's choose um, Ethereum, for example, uh, and we can put our amount that we want to send across. We put in our destination cryptocurrency and automatically you can see the conversion right there. Yeah, it does it for you right through the system. Uh, and those are the funds that will be sent across basically to your receiver's wallet. Once again, automated through the system. Uh, you know, this would obviously have to relate to the product. So a 505 Ether product is probably a pretty expensive product, uh, but it's as simple as that. And then your payment is actually automated through the system as well. You have your shipment automated. You actually have your, your uh, inventory levels through the system as well, which actually activates the first trigger. Uh, so it's, it, it really is a really simple process. It's amazing. And then, you know, we, I'm we super get, impressed. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, we want to give people obviously the, uh, the option to see their uh, funds that they have currently uh, within the platform, uh, whether it's a morph token, whether it's Ethereum, uh, whether it's fiat currencies as well. Uh, the different API, APIs will feed into the system as well. So um, you can see here all different payments and movements within the system as well when it comes to, uh, you know, different currencies moving around. Uh, Super easy to display everything here that, you know, we're really trying to go for a system that people can use right away and they don't need to be a developer or, you know, someone who's, uh, you know, well versed at using the platform. This is, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, easy. very, very easy. It's super mm -hmm. easy. Exactly. Amazing. Here's all the different payment history as well. Uh, just a little more detail on the payments. You can load all these up and actually relate them right back to the smart contract that they were, you know, sort of paying for. Um, now let's, let's go back here into the, uh, the contracts hub again. Uh, and set up again a, a smart contract, kind of move them around a little bit and, uh, you know, see what we can do over here. So, all right, let's scan through. What are we going to add into this smart contract here? This is where I want to display something really cool for you. So our system obviously is going to have an immutable ledger on the blockchain. Any sort of shipment, any sort of payment, whatever you're doing is going to be written to the blockchain. And having that connection to the blockchain is, is essential, aside from actually taking advantage of the blockchain technologies. Um, so let's, let's play around with our Morpheus blockchain trigger, uh, which actually displays our connection to the blockchain through this MVP. Uh, so we'll put our device ID in over here. Let's write a nice message over here, something <laughs> simple as can be. So you can save that and you can trigger that later on, but we actually want to trigger just to show you the display of, of how it's going to work. So 
Um, let's go back into that uh, module. And let's actually trigger that message to happen. So you get your RinkB ether scan testnet transaction, which was set up 13 seconds ago, of course. Go back to your message. Hello from Dan. Wow. Simple as that. And if it, if it was a payment, if it's a you know transaction number or some sort of uh, you know a tracking number or whatever it is, to put it up on the blockchain and to have it there forever is just is just amazing. And uh, you know to do it in such an easy, intuitive supply chain system that's going to automate all these businesses. Um, super excited about that. Really amazing. I'm glad I'm glad you like it. Uh, obviously, we put a ton of work into it and uh, all the different chats that oh, we yeah. had as wow. well. Just discussing how supply chain sort of run through. So um, if, if it's all right, I would, we might ask you a couple questions about it as well. So um, sure. yeah, uh, how do you see, uh, you know, you saw different smart contract objectives, uh, you know, such as, you know, shipping, payments. Um, do you see those being viable ways to optimize how people conduct global trade? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I think the uh, you know utilizing all of the different logistics providers' uh, own networks um, and linking those together for customers will really optimize and uh, cut out a lot of efficiencies in uh, the supply chain today. Will definitely optimize global trade. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's really exciting because, I mean, the speed of it is, and the simplicity of it is, is fantastic. So uh, from a customer user perspective, um, I think it's gonna change the world. So yeah, I'm really, uh, really excited about it. So yeah, I think, it's, I think you've got to win. Awesome. No, I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, I love the way it looks and you know, when I'm, you know, some moving things around, just knowing how I conduct my business as well. And these are the objectives that I have on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, in a global trade, uh, you know, supply chain basically. So, you know, having that in this platform, be able to put my knowledge into it and, and, and feel comfortable with the system, you know, at this stage and you know, the speed of the development, I, I think is just unreal as well. Like, you know, thinking how, you know, fast the project's coming together. And, you know, I, I, I you know, I got to say it's uh, it's motivating to have such an amazing team around me, like, like yourself as well. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to thank you for the, you know, not only the, the knowledge that you have and, you know, it's also the confidence that you give our entire team knowing that you have, you know, you, you know what we're trying to do. You believe in the project as well. And, and that makes us even believe that much further, you know, believing in yourself is one thing, uh, but having others believe in you that really, you know, reinforces that is uh, is a special thing as well. So. Yeah, I think, well, you need all the support. I mean, look, you're working 17 hours a day, as you said, and uh, from my point of view, I mean, you're doing a, a fantastic, amazing, great job. And uh, the team is obviously pushing very hard. And I think you're going to be, very successful. I mean, I'm sure there will be some bumps along the way, which always happens in any startup business or any business. Mm. But I really, uh, you know, I believe in you and the team and uh, yeah, you have my full support. All right. Awesome. No, I, I feel that support and, and uh, you know, it, it enriches me with uh, even, even more enthusiasm, really. It really does. So, um, but yeah, that, that's basically it. I, I just wanted to talk to you kind of briefly about it. Yeah, yeah that's okay. That's great. Fantastic, Danny. You get that first, you know, that, that first kind of look where I get your uh, sort of like, you know, expert opinion on it as well, which, uh, you know, which I've been dying to get. So I, I appreciate you, you know, that yeah, you're good. I, uh, uh, I think it's a winner. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you Have so much, day. Roger. Look, take care. Yes, you too, sir. Uh, we'll be talking again soon. Uh, I'll send you an email and uh, we'll definitely, uh, you know, hook up maybe we'll sometime. Up. Or so. Okay. All right. Or okay. Bye for now. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye.